Seth. Have you ever wondered if it's okay to date a Mormon? It's an interesting idea. After all, many people would think that Mormons are Christian too. They have the name of Jesus Christ in their church's name, they're very sincere people, and they're easy to get along with. But is Mormonism really Christianity? When Mormon founder Joseph Smith organized the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1830, he did so believing this church was a restoration of a Christianity whose authority had been lost soon after the death of Jesus' apostles. In fact, Smith claimed that when he was 14 years of age, he was told by God the Father and Jesus Christ that all the Christian churches were wrong and that all their teachings were, quote, an abomination, end quote, to God himself. This is an important claim because, if it's true, then the Mormon Church is the only true church and all Christian churches today remain in their apostasy. Let's take a quick look at several major teachings of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. First of all, Mormonism teaches that God was once a man. From a church manual, Joseph Smith is quoted as saying, God himself was once as we are now, and is an exalted man, and sits enthroned in yonder heavens. That is the great secret if the veil were rent today, and the great God who holds this world in its orbit, and who upholds all worlds and all things by his power, was to make himself visible. I say, if you were to see him today, you would see him like a man in form, like yourselves in all the person, image, and very form as a man. Smith is also quoted in another church manual as saying, We have imagined and supposed that God is God from all eternity. I will refute that idea and take away the veil so that you may see. This teaching is still important in Mormon beliefs today. However, the Bible says that God the Father is spirit and must be worshipped in spirit and truth. There was never a time when he was a man who died and became God of this world. To a Christian, that idea is sacrilegious, abhorrent, and, quite frankly, blasphemous. Second, Mormonism teaches that God the Father physically produced Jesus with Mary. One LDS pamphlet produced by the church says, He is the Son of God, literally, actually, as men are the sons of mortal parents. BYU professor Stephen Robinson said, The official doctrine of the church is that Jesus is the literal offspring of God. He's got 46 chromosomes. 23 came from Mary, and 23 came from God the Eternal Father. However, the Bible says that this was a non-sexual union between the Holy Ghost and Mary in Matthew 1.18. Third, Mormonism teaches that the Bible is not a sufficient guide to understanding God in these latter days. In fact, LDS leaders like to quote the Book of Mormon when it says, the Bible lacks plain and precious truths. Smith said, ignorant translators, careless transcribers, and designing and corrupt priests have committed many errors. Article 8 of the Church's Articles of Faith says that the Bible is true only as far as it is translated correctly. So in other words, if something from the Bible contradicts something from the other three LDS scriptures, Mormons are instructed to listen to what is called Latter-day Revelation. Finally, Mormonism teaches that justification for your sins comes from fulfilling a number of requirements, including getting water baptized by someone with priesthood authority. You must also qualify for a temple recommend by tithing to the Mormon church, not drinking hot drinks, wearing special clothing under regular clothes, and then getting married to a spouse for not just time but all eternity in the temple. Then you have to live all the commandments and endure to the very end of your life. While Christians believe it is by grace through faith we are saved, Mormons believe it is by grace after all you can do. But really, how much is all you can do? Couldn't you always have done just a little bit more? To me, it sounds like an impossible gospel. But don't just take my word for it. I encourage you to do some research of your own. I suggest visiting the website mrm.org. They have a lot of articles, podcasts, and, and videos that you can watch to find out why biblical Christianity and Mormonism are not the same.